What up, YouTube? What up, what up? All right, I'm back again. It's another little quick tutorial, man. I wanted to um, give y'all a heads up with. Um, this one is going to be on the M Rhythmizer plugin. I kind of searched around. I couldn't find any videos on actually how to do this. I actually found what I was looking for in the manual of the M Rhythmizer. Even the um, Melda Production, they they have videos on how to set up MIDI and everything in their plugins, but it really didn't tell me what I wanted to do. What I want to basically do is trigger these scenes with my MIDI keyboard, and it's actually in the manual of M Rhythmizer if you want to go check that out. But um, I'm going to show you how to set this up in Ableton. That way you can record your MIDI notes and be able to trigger all your different scenes. So right now I got this track right here. I'll go ahead and play a little bit of it for y'all real quick. Start at the beginning. So basically what we want to do, we want to kind of add the effects of the M Rhythmizer onto the track. So basically what you want to do is you want to come up here and find where you have the M Rhythmizer loaded up. I have it as a favorite up here. So you just want to click this and hold it, drag it right onto your master track. And then what you want to do, you want to add a new MIDI track here. So once you got your MIDI track added, you want to change the output of your MIDI track and send it to the master. Basically, you're sending the MIDI output to the master. So once you got that set up, now on record this. And basically, this will send MIDI to the rhythmizer. And they already have it set up to where these correspond to your keys over here. So your time section, the keys will start at the lowest octave that you can go. So right now, I'm, um, I got my keyboard set three octaves down. So each one takes three octaves, time, volume, and filter. So basically you can switch each different scene just by hitting the keys. Um, another thing that I did right here on advance, I turned note off and that would allow the, when you hit a key, it would allow it to just to stay there and then you could come back and hit C1, hit that one and turn it back off. I can go from here to over to here, anywhere and just keep switching it. The other version, when you let it go, it goes back to normal every time. So I give you a little demonstration on how this works. So I got my MIDI set up. This is routed to the master track where the M Rhythmizer plugin is. And you want to record, record arm your MIDI track. That way you're sending MIDI. Just play this. That's pretty dope. So then what you can do, you can just come in and on this track, you can actually record all of that just, just like you're playing the keyboard and, and end up playing back just as you recorded it 
And if you want it a little bit tighter, you know, you can go in here and adjust your MIDI notes to be right on point. I already got a little section here recorded. So I'll just go ahead and play that back real quick. like a little cheat code right now just like i said man this is dope so y'all check it out in rhythmizer um i have a coupon code for melda production i'll put it in the comment i mean in the um, description down below and you can get 20 percent off any uh melda production plugin including this rhythmizer um, they just had this one on sale for fifty percent off. I don't know if it's still on sale, but it's definitely worth worth checking out. Um, man, so y'all, I mean, y'all see the potential that's going on with this plugin and actually being able to record your scene switches, and it's it's pretty amazing. So y'all check that out, man. Just want to give y'all a quick heads up on that. Thanks for watching. Follow, subscribe, man. I try to get more videos out. Thanks. Peace.